We started the late afternoon by a storm of the earthquakes in the Reckoness Peninsula, centered mostly around the Swartzengi. That's a volcanic system that is uh, making news all around the world, making uh, Iceland famous in the world among many tourists who actually want to come to the Iceland. And this is the opportunity for them. We had a sharp rise, but it didn't uh, materialize as a eruption of lava. It started from the southern part of the Sundunka crater series, where I mark it now, and then ended up at the Hagafell. And along this, we had the earthquake creating a new dike, as they call it, magma uh, intrusion, uh, which has not reached the surface. 600 to 800 people were in the Blue Lagoon at that time, and they were all, in an orderly manner, evacuated to safe place or wherever they wanted. They had their own, uh, you know, vehicle to move. And uh, this was amazing for such a short period of time to evacuate all the people. Remember, this is not a town. This is in the middle of a, a beautiful landscape of Iceland. These are some pretty pictures which actually AI has created. And I'm sure it will inspire probably some of the... Uh, Blue Lagoon designers to make something similar like that and I, I really hope that actually <laughs> and these are beautiful I'm sure this is more beautiful than this but these are also something that artificial intelligence when you describe how it is there it makes this kind of you know imagery and uh, people were evacuated safely and I'm sure some of them actually during the evacuation may have their camera out to record this situation and probably make the next viral video that we will see all of us impatiently probably waiting to see it in the YouTube. That, that, is, that is added bonus. And this is part of the excitement of the situation. If you make it to Iceland, you make it also to Blue Lagoon.